Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Dev Academy, and in this video I'm going to show you the not stupid way to put a double jump on your character. So I've looked on YouTube and every other tutorial does it the stupid way, and I'm going to show you the fast way. So here's what we need to do. First of all, we need to get into our character blueprint. So if you go into your content folder, uh, I'm just going to be using the default one, so that's going to be in third person, blueprints, and there's our third person character blueprint. And then if you go to the event graph, this is all the movement stuff. And down here, we've got jump. And here's what all the other stupid tutorials tell you to do. So they start by creating a do n, and then you can set the n to be the number of jumps you want. So you put two in there. And then out of there, you've got to launch your character. And because you need to get the jump velocity, you've then got to get your character movement, and then out of there you've got to get your jump Z velocity, and then you've got to split your struct pin over here, and put that into launch velocity Z, and then you've got to tick the box here for event override, and then you've got to make sure that that comes out of um, your starter pin over here, and then you've got to have an event on lander to reset the whole thing, and that just takes forever, and it's long, and it's silly. Wrong, 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 wrong. So, here's what I recommend we do instead. So, as you can see here, I've just pressed Ctrl and Z to undo all of that nonsense. And you can see that I'm just back to the default jump. So, if I compile that now and I just do a jump, you can see that he'll only jump once. Okay, so let's make him jump as many times as we want. So, to do that, I'm just going to click up here for third person character. And then we're going to scroll down to near the bottom. And we're looking for a character section, which is this section here. And then if you look down here, it says max jump count or jump max count. So let's make that two. That's it. That's all you've got to do. Compile and then we press play and voila, double jump behaves exactly the same as all that stuff that the other people are telling you to create. So that's it. That's the end of this tutorial. Nice and short and sweet. And I also got to talk about how silly some of the other tutorials are. So that made me feel quite good. If you thought it was good, stick a like in that little like thing below the video. Leave me a comment. Say hi. And if you really want to show me your appreciation, why not come over to my Patreon page and become part of the gang? Anyways, um, that's it for another tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Peace out.